Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the field expressions in circular waveguide. So field expressions. In the case of rectangular waveguide also, we have calculated four different field equations. Hx, Hy, Ex, Ey. Okay, that is quite different from the circular waveguide. Okay, why I am comparing every time with the rectangular waveguide is when we are going to study about the circular waveguide, the parameters which we are going to study, all the parameters are related and means similar to the rectangular waveguide what we have studied earlier. But the parameters similar but with different types of expressions. Okay, and uh, there we have studied the parameter expressions like uh, field expressions like uh, Ex, Ey, Hx and Hy. Ex, Ey, so electric field component in the x and y direction and Hx, Hy stands for magnetic field component in x and y directions. But here such type of uh, x and y directions are not there. Here there are two types of parameters R, theta r comma theta or it sometimes referred to as phi okay that means r refers to here radius of the circular waveguide and phi refers to the angle at which the wave is being propagated in the circular waveguide okay so in order to understand the r comma theta first let us see what are the different dimensions and coordinates of the circular waveguide okay if you understand the coordinates and the dimensions then we can go for the field equations or field expressions of this circular waveguide okay see here and the figure shows the circular waveguide in which the direction of propagation is kept here the direction of propagation kept along the jet okay in rectangular waveguide also the direction of propagation we have taken in jet direction okay see here the circular waveguide is having one open part here that means this is a port and here it is another port the angle at which the wave is traveled suppose the wave is traveled here in this way then the angle at which the wave is traveled is given by phi 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 refers to the angle along the x axis okay x is the here starting initial position we are taking from here to up to this where the wave is being propagated up to that particular point we have taken and we have taken that angle as phi okay and now in the upward direction in the upward direction the length of the circular waveguide we are taking just it as a jet and you can also determine this jet as a direction of propagation here the wave propagates in this upward direction or in the downward direction as it is as the circular waveguide is connected in this fashion now another important parameter here it is uh, the radius of circular waveguide radius of the circular waveguide r is equal to a angle is equal to phi okay so if you want to say r comma phi these are the coordinates of this circular waveguide. We can simply say a comma r comma theta. Sorry, it is r comma theta. You can write it as a comma phi. That determines the coordinates of the circular waveguide. Okay, so the coordinates of the circular waveguide radius with respect to the angle it is given as a comma phi. So let us consider. let us consider the cylindrical coordinate system cylindrical coordinate system for analysis of this circular waveguide for analysis of circular waveguide so relation between relation between rectangular waveguide and circular waveguide is 
and circular waveguide is see what are the parameters with which we have referred in the case of rectangular waveguide x and y okay but here it is denoted with r comma phi or r comma theta we can call sometimes we can call it as r comma theta or sometimes we can say it as r comma phi okay phi refers to here angle okay there it was there in i will write here what are the parameters we have taken with respect to rectangular waveguide in rectangular waveguide we have referred that parameters with respect to x comma y in circular waveguide the parameters are not x comma y because it is a cylindrical coordinate system where the dimension is uniform in all the way if you are if you are standing at the center and see all the directions it is having uniform cross sectional area okay that is quite different from the rectangular waveguide so these parameters are r comma phi the circular waveguide is having a parameters radius comma phi so the relation between x and x y r and phi is r is x is equal to r cos phi <coughs> y is equal to r sin phi okay so this x refers to the rectangular coordinate system and this r comma phi refers to cylindrical coordinate system Again, this y refers to rectangular coordinate system, r and phi refers to cylindrical coordinate system. So, now we are just relating these two <coughs> in order to obtain the equations of the field expressions. See here in the circular waveguide, we are not going to calculate the field expressions again. <coughs> Already we have calculated the field equations in the case of a rectangular waveguide. The same field equations we will consider, but then what we have to do is we will substitute the x with respect to r cos phi and y as r sin phi. So that after derivation and simplification, we will get the equations of hr h phi er e phi. There we have taken here, <coughs> we have taken it as ex e y h x h y these are the four different field equations we have calculated in the case of rectangular waveguide but whereas in the circular waveguide we will we are going to see e r e phi h r h phi these are the four different parameters we are going to get here okay <coughs> see if you just square these two and add then cos square phi plus sin square phi is equal to 1. So we can write it as r square is equal to x square plus y square or r is equal to x square plus y square under root. Okay and similarly phi we can write it as tan inverse of tan inverse of y by x tan inverse of y by x just sine by cos is tan or r gets cancelled so tan inverse of y by x these are just the radius and angle of this circular waveguides now with the help of <coughs> with the help of wave equations from rectangular waveguide from rectangular waveguide for ex ey comma hx and hy so these four equations are going to be converted into er e phi hr h phi okay so with the help of the equations from the rectangular waveguide ex ey hx hy 
the circular waveguide equations the circular waveguide field equations are going to be derived that is for er e5 hr h5 as <coughs> as hr is equal to minus gamma by h square dou hz by dou r plus j omega epsilon by r h square dou ez by dou phi and h phi is equal to minus gamma by h square dou hz by r dou phi minus j omega mu by epsilon by h square dou ez by dou r here the every every parameter is related to a circular waveguide are going to be changed with respect to r comma phi here see dou x dou y there in rectangle waveguide but here it is dou r dou phi and similarly similarly the electric field components er is equal to minus gamma by h square dou ez by dou r minus j omega mu by h square dou hz by r dou phi and e phi is equal to minus gamma by h square dou ez by r dou phi plus j omega mu by h square dou hz by dou r okay so he, these are the four equations where we know that h square is equal to gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon this is common there and here okay what is h h is nothing but cutoff wave number where H refers to cutoff wave number. Cutoff wave number. And we know the remaining parameters. Gamma is nothing but propagation constant. Omega is nothing but angular frequency. Mu and epsilon are nothing but permittivity, permeability and permittivity. <coughs> okay. So these are the field equations of this uh, circular waveguide which I have derived from the rectangular waveguide equations in terms of R, comma, phi. So in the next video, we are going to see what is the TM and TE analysis for this circular waveguide. Thank you.